Croito is Channel Blythe Lewis. Welcome to Backbone. Unfortunately, the Raccoon Orchestra has another gig tonight, so they can't be here with me. If you're on the Discord server, you'll get that joke. This is a short uh, series. We're going to be playing through the whole of Backbone, and you'll get to know these characters as we go along. So if you're new to the channel, just your bigs of Backbone, well, welcome. I hope you enjoy this. And I don't make a lot of random comments and talk all about the games I'm going. I tend to just voice characters and here and there I'll talk something about it. If you're a regular, then Far Beyond the World will be following in a couple of days after I record this. And don't worry, this is not a huge change in direction for the channel, as I say. Short little series to play this game, but we'll be staying with the visual novels as per usual. So I hope you enjoy this game. I like it a lot. So let's start it off. Yes, I want to start a new one. Sorry, I missed your call. Uh, yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. So this is how we're going to move around. I love this map. And... If you uh, know Vancouver, yep, that's where we are. Let's see what else I've found. Case files. Huh, insurance fraud, stolen cars, estranged lovers. There's probably been some of these old case files. I've got to have a Frankie to fix it when I have cash. Huh, so never. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills. Don't die. Even photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Hard to get tired of this view. The Great Apes, The Great Story. <laughs> Swell toilet read. I think that was his proper place. <laughs> oh, she's later. Nah, probably not. Oh, it's Mrs. Green. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotor. Oh, we spoke on the phone. At your service, Mrs. Green. How's your day going? Oh, um, oh, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine. And please, Odette is fine. Your first kid? A third, actually. Huh, must be a handful. Oh, they can be, but they're the silver lining every day. Oh, I bet they're adorable. Oh, they are. Daisy, my eldest especially. She takes such good care of Elliot. So, uh, how can I help you today, Odette? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. Uh, it's about my husband, you see. 
He's missing. Oh, things would be simpler if he was. What would be simpler? Excuse me? Uh, no, I mean... I'm not here to judge. It was just a way to say... Just an expression. Odette, are you in any danger? Well, if I was, I'd go to the police, right? Sure. So he's cheating? I think so. I'd need real proof, right, to go to the court? The court? Are you filing for a divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something down enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids. I, I, I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue. What I don't want to dig up right now. I work better when I know everything. I'd really rather keep a few boundaries, Mr. Lotor. Okay, tell me how you caught on to the affair. He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. What kind of smell? Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant, kind of herbal stink. Mm. How late were you talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. That's what he was doing. Didn't go well. Hold up, has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Lotor. Odette, personal details can make or break a case. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I'm an investigator. I know better what's required for the case. It's none of your business. Let's move on. Okay, I'm taking the case, so let's talk final details. Sure, what do you need to know? What does he look like? Oh, here's a photo. He's not her, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where would I find him? Usually, I mean. Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. What's his full name? Any aliases? Uh, Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. Uh, how would I pick him out of a crowd? Oh, he wears a suit to work. I picked up his green tie and hat from today. That should be enough. It's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. Oh, don't let me down, Mr. Lotor. I trust you with my life. Of course. I'll get right on it. I'll call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Here we are on Granville Street, Vancouver. I really suggest you pay attention to these backgrounds. They are amazing. Let's get on with this. <laughs> Granville. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food and puke. Well, my kind of battleground. Or run, you know, from that. Since the name Metropolis. <laughs> hey, it's Mr. Howie. What's a rascal like you after on a fine evening like this? My beaver, how are Estrella and the kid? Oh, I both doing just fine. Oh, I see I good. Oh, great. We even, oh bless the shepherd, we're a second lad too soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another? Wow, you guys are lucky. 
Ah, thanks. He's a big one, too. Well, I see it's a round of watermelon. <laughs> anyway, the story. I tell her, <laughs> Well, you gotta leave bigger, and I won't put you in the trunk of the car. Huh, funny. And so, <laughs> as she turns, turns to me, the eyes were killer, and says, Give me the bread, honey. Oh, boy. Women, man. <laughs> Women. Women, mysterious creatures, they love bread. So we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you can have a bro soon. He's like, oh no, a bro, what is it? Dare I ask what you told him? So I tell him, Mara and Papa worked hard as the apes let's have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. Well, that's a rare chance for sure. Sure is. Little Victor Paul still starts laughing. Oh, Daddy, you'll be so happy me and baby bro play all the time. I say, oh, sure, son, but here's the catch. There's a catch. Yo, know, man, we're gonna have to look after him. Because two babies mean zero daddies. Daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> well, I got the pressing fast. You okay? Ah, manage, I'll manage. Ah, what do you say you were doing here? I'm looking for a guy. Now, here's the picture. You seen him ever? Yeah, I seen him. Barrel the last kind of guy. Smell really bad. I took him back from the bite a couple of times. Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? Ah, he's too wasted to talk most of the time. I smelled enough talking for both of us. Ha! <laughs> he smelled? Of what exactly? Ah, you know, poopy kind of smell. Stale booze and perfume herbs. Awful, awful stuff. Any idea where he'd be now? Well, I guess the bite's as good a guess as any. It's a goopy place though, eh? Ah, oh, thanks Anatoly. You're a detective's best friend. And my regards to Estrella. Ah, take care my man. Bye. Uh, cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See it tonight, only at the bite. Wolfpack, is this where green works? Talk to these guys. Yeah. You folks work at the Wolfpack, right? Yeah, why? There's Jez around. Who are you? Wallace, that's all owes me money. Been looking for him everywhere. You and me both, pal. Oh, I'm Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. Oh, he'll pay if I can find him. I've seen him today. Joss, but the wimp has left work early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. <laughs> Something happened to work. Yeah, his contract's not getting renewed. Oh, a bastard had it coming. Where do you think he headed? Was well, it you, boys? Some of his nagging bitch for a wife? The gutter where he belongs? Oh, the apes know. Did you boys spend time with him outside work? Yeah. He used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. With a bite? Could he be there now? Nah, fuck what I know. That's skedaddle, Rack. Yeah, I'll do just that. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. <laughs> wouldn't want to. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Give me a personal invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in, deal? Um, sure. Uh, bye. Okay, I'm gonna have a hard time getting in that way. So anyway, let's see what we can find down here. Howard? Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Well, Larry? The one and only. Oh, it's been too long. What's going on, old man? <laughs> Who are you calling old, you old rascal? Ah, all right, that's fair. Bless these rags don't like to help my appearance any. Are you okay? Uh, not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? I've seen an otter guy around you recently. Oh, what did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife. Oh gosh, poor lady. What's he like? Oh, he's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. Oh, I'm 
seen him, sorry. Let me do eat anything. I'm here often and I hear people talk. I gotta leave, but the bounce won't let me into the bite. Ah, oh, tough rake. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said you guys are an otter. Oh, that's weird. Why can't I get a good disguise? Maybe I was a handsome cat. Oh, Howard. You may be able to pass as a cat, but even then you'd be ugly. In all seriousness, I need in. Oh, what you could do is ask Johnny. He'd do better than me. Who's Johnny? A squirrel kid in a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? A typical, like, hype and shatterfang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? So they don't want you to do drugs. Monkey Butt? Yeah, word is that this new thing's a shit. Though perhaps a, bit, perhaps a bit less figurative than one might wish. Or stanky thing. I think have kind of a herbal stink. Ah, no, first hand experience. I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Anything this Johnny guy would help? Oh, I might take some convincing, but he's chill. I seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What do you know about the bite? The owners of Bloodworth, lots of rumours floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth? The Bear family? Crime family. Last year, head of the family up and died, and shit hit the fan. They ended up in prison. And the current owner's a relative? Yeah, she's a legitimate daughter or something. Whoa, what are the rumours? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. I've just got an ape for a lever or the she was going to call the others killed, she could take over. All right, hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite. Oh, thanks. You got it, Howard. Oh, welcome, distraction, really. I'll see you soon. Sure, Larry. Well, thank you. I'll see you. Okay. Sounds like that squirrel we saw before. Let's zoom back up here. Ah, there he is. You are well, then. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Your name's Wallace. What do you want, Waldo? You got any drugs? Fuck, give it down, dude. But Jennifer, how much? Oh, one puff, mister. Five loons. Six for you. You know, I think I'll treat myself something more fragrant. Can't help you. Try sniffing your crotch. A friend told me you know where I could get monkey butt. Now you need better friends. I don't have shit. You know where to get it. Square things with a bounce of me. It'll make a big sale. Thanks, I know you're champion for good reason. Say, so making some panic. What does Johnny get in return? He gets to not be introduced to the cops. Now tread lightly, punk. Take him to an and fuck you off if you're not careful. Have you seen yourself hard to go anywhere with you? Yes, all I see is a filthy trash mob still drinks alone, cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably is his mother, too. And the trench is just the final pitiful cherry on top of a craft cake. We are hearing that from a fellow with so much fur gel he literally sticks the walls, don't you find? Shit your mouth on a stuffy tash trail in it. You're so ugly when you're so angry. Oh, stop yelling about my face, don't look at it. Oh, good one, John. I can't believe you're ever real. What a riot. You know, screw it. I'll meet me at the entrance, I'll get you in. Go and have hear what happens to you in there. Oh, I aim to please. Okay. Let's go and let us in. Well, let's calmly walk down. We're not in a hurry to get into the bite. So they think. What do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favourite customer. Striper, you can come in. Uh, don't cause any trouble. Huh, thanks. We're in. 
I'm not saying much because the music in this game is so good. I know I'm going to be talking over it a lot, but you should really buy the game, play it, and you can also track down the soundtrack. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. A little too high end for my taste. It's Renee. I'll tell you about Renee later. Well, uh, you're unusual. Not a light like greeting. Uh, touche. Uh, Renee Wilson. Uh, Wallace, please meet me. That's a fake name. You're too young for Wallace. Well, I'm Wallace tonight. Delightful. Do I detect sarcasm? No, not at all. I'm truly delighted. My night just got a lot more interesting. I hope you'll tell me about yours once it's over. Uh, take my card. Let's get it for list. It's a living, usually. Have you seen an off gentleman one yet? I'm so happy to see your life, finally. I haven't heard of her before, it's a nice sound. Though. I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. I've got a record player just for her. She's not the one I listen to. Does she play here often? Well, from time to time. I like the place, it's very classy, and the food is great. I haven't tried the food yet, I'm actually here looking for someone. Oh, who are you looking for? I'm looking for an otter gentleman. Here's his photo. Let me think. I think I saw someone like that walking. Did you see where he went? I talked to the lady in the J colour dress and went upstairs, I think. Well, thanks. Enjoy the show. My friend and author, have you seen him? I haven't, sorry. You're right, have a pleasant evening. From going eyes until a last I hope you got the reference. Okay. Ingrid, she must be the lady. Not yet, my friend's lady, I'm worried about you. Jeremy's usually here like clockwork. And maybe I've seen him. What's he like? Yeah, he's an otter. Does it sound like you know your father very well? I respect his privacy. I didn't see him. Anyone else might know where he is. You could ask try in the, try asking the bartender. Or oh, Miss Bloodworth. Uh, thanks for your time, Miss... Uh, call me Ingrid, Mr... How rude of me. Oh, Wallace. Mr. Wallace, I hope we see you again soon. Goodbye. Uh, and again, if you're new to the channel, that probably just shows you how bad I am at all these female voices. So let's just stop and listen to the music for a moment. Oh, it is to me. 
You ever seem right at home. Oh, I practically am. Oh, would you say so, boy? First name tail, first name terms of the bar tended to, eh? Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Clifford Bloodworth. I own the bite. Well, allow me to say you've got a very cosy place here. Oh, thanks. I do strive to offer a sophisticated experience here. So, to whom do I owe the pleasure? The name's Wallace. The pleasure is mine, Wallace. And what's your profession? I'm a photographer, a private stuff mostly. A creative soul. Impressive. So, how can I help you, darling? Well, you're the expert. Do you have any uh, special recommendations? Well, folks say that our chef's special is to die for. But I pride myself on everything you being equally special. So, uh, what brought you here tonight? No, I'm just here to meet a friend. Is that so? More of a regular than you? Well, sure is. Always talking the place up. Uh, what's his name? If he's here tonight, I'll know. Uh, Jeremy, last name Green. Otter, boring but nice type. And you were just meeting him for a quiet drink? Oh, sure, of course. A uh, sweetheart, I don't believe you. Well, sure, your prerogative, I guess. Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name. Playing coy clearly doesn't suit you, and it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. You all lost me, my friend will be coming back. As you wish. Perhaps we'll be seeing each other again. Have a great night. Oh, I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Clarissa. Okay, that didn't go so well. Clarissa Bloodworth, what's the deal? I need to find another way in. Maybe Larry can help us. Let's talk to him again. Oh, did you find him? Uh, I got kicked out. Oh, Howard, how'd you manage that? Yeah, I think I poked the bear. The bouncer? I met Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh, man, what did you do? Well, she's upset. You better get used to watching your back. Mm, that's what I figured. I'll get back in there. Ah, hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. You told me you had no first-hand experience with monkey, but it was all change, Larry. Look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought that up. No, you're right. I'm probably reeking this stuff too. Listen, I'm known to judge. I'm just trying to explain. Don't explain things to me, Howard. I'm happy to help, but this is where we draw the line. Okay, I hear you. So how do I get back in? Well, truck over there just arrived. Some fellows entered through the back door. Also, you heard voices come from the roof. They must have a door up there. Tell me about the door on the rooftop. Most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you going to get on the roof? Ooh, is there a fire escape? You give me a lift. No, no fire escape. The bite is too high. Any smaller structures you could climb first? The press stand. Oh, there. That could work. Start with the press stand, go to Mackenzie and proceed along the roofs. You should know that Bo is kind of a dick nugget. That's the most accurate description of Bo I ever heard in my life. Hey, you're welcome. Anyway, I suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for it. Tell me about the back door when I'm here. Well, there's a little intercom box. You ring, they pick up, and if you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you in. Any clear on how to become someone they're expecting? No idea. Maybe they use some sort of code? You're the detective, man. Not me. Well, thank you for help, friend. Bye. Okay, let's just check out this door. What are you looking at? Are you alright? Oh, fine, what's it to you anyway? You don't look fine, I'm just trying to help. Say I'm fine, get lost. Yeah, Florence, right? Right on the tag. Piss off, I told you I'm not even looking at her back. Yeah, who back? Are you looking for someone? Yeah, right. Maybe like you don't know. Not following me, no sir, I'm onto you. I'm not moving this spot, you let me talk to my daughter. You looking for your daughter? I know, fool, I know she's in there. She's only talk to me. Oh, last night, they won't let me see her. 
and she had the bike. I'll keep an eye out for her if I manage to get in. You're not one of them thugs. I mean you no harm, you just look like you'd use some help. Well, maybe I could if you really not. What happened to your daughter? She's in that filthy. I've been gone for days, but they say they won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it. Why won't they let you talk to her? Say she doesn't want to talk to me if they're lying. I know it's want to keep it all hushed up like. I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What she look like? Oh, great fur. Her name's Rosie. Uh, Rose. And that's what I call her, Rosie. Just turned 20. Oh, I've heard a single whisk of my baby's face. I'm swearing I'm going to burn this hive to the ground. I'll do my best to find her. Oh, thank you. Tell her I'm waiting out here. I haven't told her, I'm sure. All right, thanks for helping me out. I'd better go look for a way in then. Please, you see my daughter. Just tell her I need to see her, please. Take care. Okay, so we've got for Rose now. Okay, let's try the uh, roof, so I think that might be an easier way to get in. $14.99 for a trim? I'll stick with a mirror, a pair of scissors and a larger whiskey. Ah, crap, Downing's on duty in the booth of my head. I can't deal with him right now. Still attending the shop. Just say hi if it gets driven out by Yumi Mart. Maybe next time. Feel it peckish? I got sweet and savory. You can mix and match. Make your own trail mix. How about it? Oh, do you have unshelled pumpkin seeds? Of course. Got salted and unsalted. Each bag is worth a half loom. I'll give you three for a loom. It's a steal. I'll have one. Say, hang around Granville often. I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? Well, I need to find a way to the bite. A fancy jazz bar? Well, I see you tried the front door. I got kicked out through the front door. Oh, ah, uh, maybe it's the back door. I really don't know the place very well, sorry. You're itching to ask something. Go ahead. Um, uh, why did you get kicked out, sir? I didn't like that I was snooping around. Why are you snooping around? I'm a private eye, working a case. He? Oh, very cool. Off the case. I'll let you on if you help me get into the bite. Oh, sorry, sir. I wish I could help. What if I could? I swear. I was being truthful before. I don't know any way to get in. Ha, worth a shot. Thanks anyway. Of course, sir. Can I offer you some seeds? Uh, not anymore, thanks. See ya. Okay. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. If you know Granville, you know this place in real life. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora, then puked all over my new coat. Ah, memories. Good day to your friend. Fancy some fresh news? Or anything good happening for a change? The loot you can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want the headline. Front pages there, all great A parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Uh, one more thing. Uh, let's climb your stand, please. Absolutely not. You know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? Oh, come on, Bo. I need this for work. You working on one of them cases? I don't want involved. It's not decent. Why in Shepherd's name do you need to climb the press stand anyway? Come on, Bo. It'll help you out of our roles reversed. Now that you mention it. Maybe you could have a little issue I've been having. Spill it. I need that seed selling Pika Hawker off Granville. Can you do that? I don't know, Bo. It's not what I do. Scratch back mine yours. You're lucky I'm desperate. I wish me luck. Yeah. I'm with you, Howard. I don't like doing this either. Maybe we can persuade him to leave nicely. Hey there, back for more. 
Is it uh, not quite a uh, strange favour to ask? What's up? Could you leave Granville at least for tonight? Uh, I'd rather not. I think it's Granville's a great sales spot this time of night. Oh, he want, wants you off his turf. Oh, well, of course he does. He's my rivals. Well, screw him. What did he promise you? Remember I asked you about the bite. What's that going to do with anything? I'm a detective. The path of my lead lies to his stand. All right, no. I have a business proposition for you. What if we get her in a bow instead? Oh, I'm listening. Oh, thinks he's got his grand feet. He has a paid-up permit spot. I'm just playing the hand I've been dealt. The moment I built this car with our bare hands, I'm just trying to help my family. Where's this going? Bo's a bigot. He hates my guts. I'm a young rodent boy. Do better than him. I'm a good boy. What's the kicker? Did you know Bo sells adult magazines? Very naughty, illegal ones. Let him know you know, you know? You think you'll buy it? He'll blink. I need to protect his precious permit. Let's team up. That's a swell idea, partner. Hang yeah, mister. Go talk to him. I will bow to the shepherd for you. Okay, bye. Let's see if this works. I really don't like Bo either. Hey, get rid of that parasite. I think you should leave Bo. Ha <laughs> what? I heard a rumour, there's a police raid coming up. Alright, I'm a law-abiding citizen. These magazines are outlawed, Bo. I see them. So what, you can threaten me now? Who decides what's lawful anyway? So, since breaking the law on your not. That boy, I don't want his assets blue. That damn rodent sitting in my business fee, an honest salesman. Just leave, please. You're my peak performance house so you can come and kiss you sneaky bastard. Is that it? It's not about me, it's about justice. You, everything is always about you. Going around, stitching on people getting their nerves, and a cutting honest businessman like myself. I'm going then. Police officer. Wait, oh, leave, asshole. Damn you and your whole kind. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's climb up here. Go on, Rick. How do you can do it? Okay, good start. Okay. Who's the top dog now, Foxy Burger? <laughs> Suck it. Just take a moment to admire this lovely skyline. Okay, it's dystopian, but it's still lovely. The amount of work here. Damn, what a view. Guess there are benefits of risking your life on rain stick rooftops. Ah, uh, don't mind me, boys. the pigeons accept me as one of their own. There's the bite. All right, Green. After all that, you better be in here, you bastard. The dressing room. Oh, thank Shepard, it's empty. No turning back now.
know she's been in your museum name here. Come on, Howard, you can do this. You're doing this! Some honey for your tea. Mum swears by Greg. Who's Greg? Oh, nice fella. Okay, I think it's time to be a bit sneaky here. Keep my profile low and take a peek into one of the rooms. Oh, Jess must be there. behind it could help with that. Green ties up in the frame. How did it get there? A green hat. Green must have been here. Where's the rest of him? Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like a butt. What the? A secret lift? I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I bigly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. It's a grim looking furnace. What are they burning in here? Looks like the guests of the bite are eating well. Greg, the inventory is off again. If I catch you stealing food, I'll chop off your grabby little fingers. Actually, I don't know how this works. I've played it before, so let's open Vela, I can fit it if I crouch. I need to skip a bit here. Boy speaking. Hey, boy. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? Yes. For apes' sake, call the kitchen so I'll get you. Yo, this is the kitchen. Watch your knee. That's Greg. No, I'm not making you a snack. Uh, it's Greg. I'm stuck in the freezer. Again. For the love of... How? Uh, I'll be in a second to kick your ass. Okay. Let's try and get through here now. I think somebody's coming. Sure not seen by the guys with big knives. Oh, smells delicious though. He's distracted, come on. Okay. We can get through. Some kind of locker room. I'm gonna keep moving. Move some things around here. Let me show you this very fun puzzle. Which is actually somewhat easier than it was when we first tested it out. To behave itself, oh, we can... oh my dear. There we go.
Again, I'm just jumping ahead and it's quite in sequence because I know the various bits and bobs that are going on here. Right, the turnkey's missing again. Better be here when I get back. It's my ticket out of here. Seems to need a turnkey. Okay, so Greg has the turnkey. Hold down here. Where are the lights? Can we find them anywhere? It's dark. Switch. Oh my fucking what? It's a, it's a naked dead order. Oh, fuck me, fucking Jez. The corpse offers you no help. You place a finger on the corpse. It's not yet cold. The body shows no obvious signs of violent death. It's just a naked, dead, slightly overweight otter. Maybe they overdosed him? The body lies there still. It is there, dead. Probably murdered. Recently. What used to be Jeremy smells like stale booze and cheap cologne held together by a stringent herbal stink. That's enough. I'm going. Is coming quick after hide. Yeah, uh, Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Uh, okay, come in. Turnkey, maybe he left it there. Key. Turnkey, maybe I made it out alive. Sorry, Jazz. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Okay, let's get out of here. Run, Howard. for this particular video. Uh, if you remember, I did a while ago the prologue, so that's very similar to Act 1. There are a few changes made, that's why I wanted to play through it again. But we will continue on with Act 2. There are five acts in total. I might not actually do every uh, act a video. I might just change things around a bit. 
So there you are, different lengths. So we're going to be a short series, like I can say. So I'll be carrying on with it maybe in a couple of weeks or so. And let me know what you think of this. Uh, especially if you have to work for Exit and came across this. I hope you're enjoying it, all of you. Very nice people, I say. I've uh, met a couple of them. But before we finish up here, as always, thanks to all my patrons. I really appreciate your help. And my top patrons are Kartek, Cobra's Vissa, Pesuksu, Dissonance, Cindy Dragowolf, Tiger Cub, Gunamulla, Kopi, Marcus, Lark Huskerton, Bastian, Brandon Bradford, Ida Corval, Anubis Silverwind, Brian Hall, Sumuto, David Taylor, Evan King, and Grizz. So this is it. We're about to leave the dystopian Vancouver. For now, we will be back. And we have somewhere else to be on Saturday. Time to catch up with an old friend. So, thanks for watching. Until the next VN in a couple of days, until we return to the Backbone verse in a couple of weeks. Bye for now.